Hi guys, Destination Ratty here. Uh, gonna be doing an oil change today. I know it's been done a hundred times, thousand times probably, uh, but I thought I'd add it to a channel just in case somebody came along here and wanted to see uh, how to do it. Uh, items we have today, three quarts of oil. I'm using full synthetic uh, mobile one. I think it's the best oil, uh, best, you know, lasting, doesn't break down viscosity wise. Canon oil filter. Uh, what's nice about these is it's got a wrench on the end, so it's very easy to change. Um, you actually won't need this filter wrench if you happen to have that because uh, it has it on the end of that. A funnel, oil pan, and some rags to wipe anything up. Uh, super, super easy job. Uh, let's get started. So for those of you who don't know uh, where you fill the oil, it's going to be right there on the right hand side, that little plug. You just twist it, opens up, and when the bike's on the stand, it's at an angle, so it should help prevent uh, oil leaks, but you're still going to need a funnel. Okay, the other two points that you're going to need to know on the left hand side of the bike is underneath. See right there, the uh, silver, that's the drain plug. And then right next to that is the oil filter. So two perfect uh, convenient locations. You just put your oil pan right underneath and it will catch the oil both from the bolt and from the oil filter. Now you're not going to leak oil whenever you're taking out the oil pan bolt. Uh, this is a 17, uh, so make sure you use that. You can either use a wrench or a socket. Uh, I'm going to use a socket today. Um, I would not use an extension right there just because you might hit the pipes. They're also hotter than hell, so you want to mess with those. And on this side, you want to stay over here. Uh, when you're going up, make sure you go straight up this way. Don't, don't have your arm near the pipe in case it slips off. You want to burn yourself. And all you're going to do is just crack it. And of course, like everybody else has said, it is very tight. So I'm going to get an extension and break this thing. You know, if you only have a uh, socket, you can put a bar in the end and use that as leverage to make a breaker bar. Um, I do have a breaker bar, so I'm going to use that. Let's put my 17 on there. As you heard, it was uh, very, very tight. But it is loose, so now we'll put the oil pan underneath here. Now this is going to be hot and oily, so let's get some gloves on so we don't get hot oil on our hands. Okay, so normally I've got shorter ones that go to about right here, uh, which are perfect for working this kind of stuff. But looks like I'm going to be using these ones that you use to deliver horse babies or to uh, put your hands down inside your toilet. They go all the way up your arm. But they'll work just fine, so we'll go ahead and use them for right now. I don't feel like waiting. Once you crack it, you just twist this and you'll see it spins right off. Uh, you can spin it low ways if you want. You can see like it's already about two thirds the way out and it's still not um, leaking any oil. You just keep twisting it off. Eventually you'll feel where it gets to the end. It starts to leak a little bit. And then just pull. And don't do what I just did, which is drop your bolt in there. Just drain in nicely. Put this over here. As you can see, it doesn't take very long at all for that oil to drain out. And it's about three quarts. I think it's 2.85 quarts uh, of oil that should be in this. So it won't take very long at all to get out, obviously. And I'm gonna let that continue to drip out. And then also we gotta take the oil filter out. So I'm just gonna let that drip. All right, went ahead and took off my glove. I don't need that anymore. Now the wrench you have here, if you have the, uh, like the tightening one, it's gonna slip on right there. And when you lift up, it's gonna clamp around that and then you'll be able to twist it upward. So that's what we're going to do. Super easy. Slips on. And then just twist off. 
they had this on pretty damn tight actually. Once it's loose, you can take that off. Just twist it and you'll see it starts to you know bleed there. The oil comes out. If you don't like oil all over your hands, just crank it up and it'll leak out. And just let it keep bleeding until it's uh, just dribbling. You can continue to open it up that way you don't get oil over your hands, you don't burn yourself. It didn't take very long at all. Just don't touch the pipes. You'll do it once and then never again. Keep twisting it off. There will oil, oil will come out of this filter, so be careful as you're loosening it. It'll continue to come out. Just tilt it over, drain it into your pan. And then flip it over so it doesn't uh, go anywhere else. I'm going to let this continue to drip for a few more minutes and I'll be right back and we'll do the installation of the other stuff and putting the oil in. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. I went inside and had a drink. It's hotter than hell here in Florida. So I went to cool off and um, it's still dripping as you can see. It's not a big deal if all of it come out unless you're just going to wait forever. Uh, what we will need to do is to Wipe off the surfaces. Let me see if I can get here a little closer at this. So you see that's where the filter goes. Now see that's where the drain plug goes. So you want to get a, a clean rag. Nothing that's going to leave any um, particles behind. Some towels will leave little, little bits of fabric around. So. Try to use something that won't leave anything like that. Make sure you wipe all the way around nice and clean. And then the drain plug here. Just want to get that. See, it doesn't leave very much. Now, put you back there. Now the drain plug. I did already clean this, and the threads here, you want to make sure that they're very, very clean. Uh, these part of the threads do go into the oil uh, pan, so you don't want any of the debris or anything going in there. I can go one step further is to get my air gun. Just make sure there's no particles on there. And then I'll go ahead and put that back in. Now you just tighten up by finger tight on the oil filter. And we will torque that down in just a minute, uh, but I just put it in there so it's not dripping anymore. There's a, a cover on here. Please make sure you take that off. I know you shouldn't have to say that, but as soon as I don't say that, someone will try and do it with it on and be in my comment section, and I'd rather not have that. So what you're going to do is there's a, a rubber seal here. You're going to help that. You're going by putting a little sheen of oil from the new oil in there. Don't use old oil. And you're just going to coat that, go all the way around. And that's going to help seed it. You can fill this new filter up with a little bit of oil. Do about halfway. on there everything you put together you always want to do finger tight until you have to apply pressure that way you don't cross any threads you don't do anything like that finger tight okay now that we have that Okay, now the torque specs on the old drain bolt, when I just looked up online, said 43 Newton meters. So that's going, that seems like a hell of a lot, actually. Uh, the guy from Toyota says it's not, but that sure seems like a hell of a lot to me. Normally, in my own uh, time, I'd 
hand tighten it down and then get a nice where it's nice and snug. Uh, when I worked in a shop, obviously you gotta um, do everything by the manual. So obviously if you're doing that, there's also a uh, crust washer that you can replace here. So if I'm working at a shop, you have to replace that uh, just for uh, legal sake. Um, I, I'm not gonna replace it on this, this one this time. Uh, the next time I change my oil in about 800 miles or so, I will uh, probably change that. Let me get on my torque wrenches and we'll be right back. Okay, tightening the oil filter. You can put a 17 millimeter socket in there. Tighten it down like that. For a wrench. Again, you hand tighten as tight as you can. And then I always add about a quarter turn. And you'll feel the resistance and it's nice and snug. Now the oil drain plug, we're gonna have to use the torque wrench. Okay, for the oil drain plug, it says 43 Newton meters. Got my three eighths inch um, torque wrench. Let's go to 43. Lock that in place. Now normally on a torque wrench you want to ha always be pulling. Uh, because of the pipes and I'm laying on the ground here, I can't really do that. So I'm going to have to actually kind of semi pull and push just because the angle I'm going to have to get. So go until it clicks. You hear it click, that's how you know you're there. So that's 43. Um, also, the um, oil filter was a KN204. Uh, KN204. For those that were curious. And that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and add the oil in. It takes uh, 2.85 uh, quarts of oil. So let's get that done. Okay, now that we've got the drain plug in and the oil filter in, everything's good to go. Now we need to add the oil. Uh, the oil fill plug is going to be on the right-hand side of the motorcycle. Just twits off, super easy. Turn that up on its side. Now your uh, funnel you're going to be using, just make sure you wipe off the end. If you have anything inside there, try and clean that out. You don't want any dirt going in there. You can absolutely avoid it. Uh, this this funnel is actually brand new, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, specifically for this motorcycle, I'll try not to mix them up between the two, and it fits perfectly in there. And these about oh, two dollars at Walmart or something like that. And then you also make sure that your quarts of oil are open, so you can pour them in, so it's easy to do. We'll be adding that. Let me move this back so you can actually see. It does take 2.85 quarts in this FC09. Just keep adding it in. First two obviously easy. Inside of the uh, quarts, you do have indicators. Eight five, about a little above three quarters. So just make sure you have a quarter left. And then you check your oil level on your bike.
can always add more in, but it's hard to take out once it's in. plug in. Then we're going to start the motorcycle and let it run for a few minutes. And then we're going to send it uh, straight up and down. We're going to check the oil level. Okay, so after you start the motorcycle, run it, let it get warm up, let the oil circulate through. Uh, you're going to need to check the oil level. There's a little window on the side here. In order to do that, what you're going to do is make sure your bike is on its uh, stand, your stand's down, and you just simply ro rotate it up until it's level, which is about right there, and then you're going to look in your window. So for mine, you can see it's a little low. So I'm going to rotate it down and add a little bit more oil, and then redo the whole cycle again. Be right back. Okay, so add a little bit more oil in there. Let's see if we can get closer and so I can show you. Okay, so there's two, two little marks. One right here and one up here. So this is your oil low, oil high. So you don't want it to be above that once you have the bike level. So we're going to bring the bike level now. And looks like it's perfect. It's right below the top, which is where I want it. And then let it back down. I always recommend um, after you do change the oil, take it for a little ride, come back and check the oil level again. Make sure it is the exact same um, as you just had when you changed it. And that's it. Oil, oil change done. Uh, very simple to do. Anybody can do this. Um, no need to uh, pay a mechanic to do it unless you just feel totally uncomfortable. Uh, I'm sure you know somebody that um, can uh, do this for you. You know, save a bit of money. Save your money for upgrades, you know, that kind of thing if you're going to do your shocks or anything like that. And that's it. Very simple. Hope this is helpful. Uh, leave any comments uh, for me below. If you like this, uh, you want to see more of these type of videos, you know, just like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and see you next time. There is one final thing that I like to do um, every time I change the oil. Oh, that's the the old oil in the oil pan. Um, this is a parts collector. So what it is, there's a little magnet on the end. If you can see that, so just make sure that you clean it off really well. Now what I do is I run it in the oil. And what I'm doing is I'm looking to see how much metal is actually coming off whenever I do my oil, because when I just pour it out, I can't always tell. So I do this for a few minutes. Obviously it doesn't hurt my, um, my tool, but if I can see exactly how much metal I'm actually collecting, I can see exactly what's going on inside my engine. So that one came off pretty clean, which is nice. Just little bits of metal. So looks like uh, pretty good. No, no, nothing major being shaved off. You know, any of the valves or anything like that. So we're in good shape. After you do your test ride, always come back through. Your test ride should be kind of short, not real long, just in case it, uh, there is any kind of leaks. Um, as you can see, no leaks. Oil filter or the drain plug, so we're good. Just look over the rest of the bike real fast. 
as part of the cleanup, I'm gonna make sure your um, torque wrench that you set it back to zero. You don't want um, any pressure on that, so do make sure you re return it back to zero. And that's it. We're good and done. Time to go ride.